Hey friends, today on Due to the Travel Bug, it's another installment of Graveyard Picnics. And today we found the grave of the actor that played one of this family's favorite characters. <laughs> we have our picnic packed and we're headed to Calvary Cemetery in Youngstown, Ohio to visit the final resting place of Michael Patrick Bylan. Who the heck is this guy? <laughs> All right, so he is a famous actor from one of our favorite movies. I'll give you a clue. He was two feet, 10 inches tall. E.T. How did you know that? Because i that's the only actor I remember who was super small and was able to walk on his hands. Oh, yes. Okay, so there was another actor who I believe is still alive. He was a 12-year-old boy in the, that was born um, or had, I don't know if he was born with or had an accident, but he didn't have any legs. So he walked around on his hands with a skateboard. Holy smokes. We are an E.T. loving family, but I still was not expecting anybody to get it that fast. So technically there were three people who played E.T., including a boy without legs. But we are here visiting Michael Patrick Bylan, the primary actor who did the majority of E.T.'s walking performances. So yeah, Michael um, Patrick Bylan did most of the acting work for E.T. The costume weighed 40 pounds, and I think it was like half a million dollars, the costume that he wore. And the costume weighed just about as much as he did because he was a very little guy. So here, Daddy, do you want to show us what two feet, 10 inches looks like next to Beebs? Look at that, Alec. He was a grown man and that's how tall he was as a grown man. At the time, he was the shortest um, he was the shortest man in the United States. I don't know if he still holds the record or not. So, if E.T. is our actor that we're here Reese's to visit. <laughs> yes, that is the, the picnic food. Reese's Pieces. So Steven Spielberg was waiting to hear back from the people at M&M's to see if he could use M&M's in his movie. And it was just taking a long time for M&M to get back to him. So one of Steven's kids said to him, Hey dad, why don't you use Reese's Pieces in your movie? Because they're better than M&M's anyways. And I think our family agrees. We, we're, we're Reese's Pieces all the way. <clears throat> what do you think guys? Reese's Pieces vote? Yeah, I agree. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next.